Arnie Christiani, the mayor of Grünheide, where Tesla is building its Giga Berlin factory, says Tesla remains unscheduled despite a possible delay. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the uh, bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. The mayor of Christiani, Arne Christ uh, mayor of the Grünheide, Arne Christiani, said that in a press conference, DPA German agency reports. So, according to uh, uh, Süddeutsche Zeitung, um, the U.S. electric car manufacturer Tesla is sticking to the schedule for the construction of its uh, Giga Berlin uh, factory in Grünheide uh, despite a possible delay. So what is this possible delay? From well-informed circles, it was said that the schedule still provides for production to start in early 2021. I'm talking about the schedule of production of start of Giga Berlin. For the first Tesla plant, uh, this type in Europe, the complete environment approval from the country has so far been pending which is why tesla is building through provisional approvals however the construction work is partially stalled apparently which i reported several days ago and this is why i said elon musk may have come to giga berlin not only to interview people but uh, according to German reports, the construction work is partially stalled. The Brandenburg State Environment Agency's approval for the application for early approval of assembly for part of the paint shop and the clearing of forest is missing. Tesla CEO Elon Musk met on Thursday with Brandenburg's economic minister Jörg Steinbach because of the schedule. So our uh, prognosis that uh, Elon Musk came for this pur uh, purpose was already confirmed by DPA and uh, Süddeutsche Zeitung. The community of Grünheide wants to get its contribution for the approval of the factory of Giga Berlin um, uh, under wraps this year. In mid-December, the local council will decide on the modified development plan for the area. The country needs the statute's resolution for the final approval according to the Federal Emissions Control Act, said Mayor Arne Christiani, independent of the German press. He, he is an independent party. Uh, he said that to DPA, German press agency. He assumes the schedule is realistic. Among other things, the development plan of Tesla deals with road expansion as well. The government sees no threat to the schedule. According to the Ministry of Environment, the sixth application for an early start of construction is being examined as is the procedure for the final approval. The application is still being examined because it is intended to take into account findings from a hearing with critics. Steinbach had told the Berlin Tegaspiegel that Elon Musk had it explained to him what was possible in the schedule and what was not possible because it would jeopardize the legal security of the Tesla's Giga Berlin project. Rundfunk Berlin Brandenburg, RBB, reported on Friday that Tesla had warned of a delay for the entire project and asked for a single permit for the paint shop. I reported this at Talk News Channel and you can see my two days ago, Saturday's report on this. The application documents indicate that the paint shop should be installed from October 1st. The company did not initially comment to Süddeutsche uh, Zeitung. But in the meantime, other developments are going well at Tesla Giga Berlin. In fact, there, there are reports that Italian uh, Tesla supplier IDRA, IDRA, uh, that assembles the Giga factories, Giga Press, apparently is already, these Giga Pressers are already being assembled in uh, Giga Factory Berlin. Um, the uh, Tesla Mac, uh, a German Tesla enthusiast news website, says the parts are so heavy that they can can only be lifted with different cranes, not only one crane, and so high that people can only reach them on ladder scaffolding. 
the Italian machine builder Aidra, recently known as a supplier of modern Tesla production technology, is responsible for the assembly demonstrated. Uh, uh, assembly demonstrated one of his, its giga presses is responsible for assembling these giga pressers for Tesla. The die casting machines, which are going to remove uh, hundreds of KUKA robots, arm robotic arms for Tesla Giga Berlin, and instead use these uh, die casting casting machines. The known as Giga pressers, Tesla is expected to use eight Giga pressers there. Now, despite the related name, they weren't specifically developed for Giga Factory, although they're called Giga pressers. They were not specifically developed for Giga Factory, but Tesla appears to be the first customer for the giant die casting machines. And the big one, according to a report, 12 of them have been ordered so far. They could even all be for Tesla. But we know that so far there will be eight gigapressors for German Tesla factory. The construction of the gigapress, uh, the gigapress can be seen in fast motion in a short video that I shared several days ago uh, uh, that were also shared on YouTube by a magazine known Foundry Planet. Uh, uh, in our previous report, we described a visit of the uh, Foundry Planet to IDRA in Italy, which contains some already known technical data, but also at least one interesting new piece of information is this. A total of 12 orders for the huge IDRA machines are to be received. Now, two questions. I'm going to um, uh, describe the 8 versus 12 and why I call them Giga Presses. They are, this is the name of that uh, machine. It's called Giga press because some of you guys have asked me in the comment section below in, in the past saying that these are die casting these are casting machines uh, uh, why are you calling them giga presses giga press is the name of this machine although they're die casting machine that's one thing that i wanted to address the second is um, uh, when the foundry planet went to uh, giga idra's uh, plant and had that video there the pictures of you have seen in our website the the they found out that there is going to be 12 giga presses are all of these for tesla or are some of them for other giga factories um, uh, for example maybe china giga shanghai will use one or giga texas may use one i think one of them or at least two or three of them maybe for giga texas they're building already or maybe giga uh, berlin has big plans but we know that giga berlin is going to use eight of them so we don't know if those rest of the four are for tesla if yes, where are they going? Uh, Fremont, Giga Texas in Austin, or uh, Giga Shanghai? Um, the name Tesla is not mentioned once in that article, but it seems clear who is customer for whom the Giga Press shown in that video. By the way, I will have the link of that video in the description of this uh, uh, report. And uh, so, uh, according to the very current Wikipedia entry on IDRA, the first two machines from Italy were installed at Tesla's Fremont plant this summer. And we at Torque News Channel have already reported that. Three more are to be seen in the photos in the Tesla report for the second quarter in 2020 and the Chinese giga, uh, in the Chinese Giga factory. And according to information from Tesla Mac, Tesla has planned eight Giga presses, like I said, for its Giga factory near Berlin. According to Wikipedia, the die casting machines in China carry the impressed uh, brand, which is said to be belonging to Chinese Hydra parent company, LK Machinery, and were manufactured apparently in China locally. I had another report where you can find, where you can see the picture of that being installed at Giga Shanghai. However, it is not known whether more than three of these will be needed for the upcoming production of Tesla Model Y in China. But more Giga presses are likely to be built on site in this case. For Fremont, on the other hand, there are no known plans for more than two machines already installed by, um, by Tesla. Fourth Giga Press is also in product preparation apparently. If IDRA doesn't have another unknown customer for its giant Giga Press die casting machine, that could mean that one of the machineries for machines for the German Giga Factory could already be seen in the assembly video. According to the Foundry Planet uh, report, 
it is now to be dismantled again and then distributed among 24 trucks to go on a long journey. The destination is not mentioned and Giga Press number four is already well prepared, but we don't know where they are going. Well, friend, let me know what your thoughts are about the Giga Berlin schedule, where these Giga Presses are going to go. In the meantime, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. Have a wonderful rest of the day. God bless you and see you soon.